Hello everyone, I'm Space Guy from Pharma, and nice to meet you all. Today, I would like to discuss stealing user credential, user saved password from their browser without their knowledge. Of course, there, there are many ways out there to do so, but today I'm going to discuss about sending a fine and steal their safe password without their knowledge. Here, I have got two files, and let me explain how this program works. This is a code file, this is going to steal password and save the password, and uh, this is going to steal the safe password file and save the password and launch this batch file. And this batch file is going to send email to email back to me with the user safe, safe password database from the browser, the two browser especially, the Mozilla Firefox and the Chrome, Google Chrome. And so let's go straight on these things. Now this is a file you need to modify. This is mail send program, which is sending email to the command prompt. And I do appreciate who created this program because it's really useful. Once you get this file download and you can see in your command prompt for its argument by traditional Health find con, con traditional column health find just like sled health, slab question mark, slab age, and so on. So, anyway, here is the, the argument, the part name, the part number, and authentication. Yes, authentication. I'm gonna use my email here and password should be my password so that this one can use. Log into your email and attach the stolen password file with the email and send back to your email, your destination email. This is from email. Really nearly, you must put it on. This is subject. I have used with how do you do? And now I'm gonna modify why so serious this is quiet mode yes this program is sending an email to me and quietly now i'm modifying my password and let me take a break now i just modified it this file 11 p.m 15 September 2017 just modified it but I'm not gonna open this file if I'd open this file you will see my password of course I have to this file my bash file and the core program file now I'm gonna bind this program in one using bash to EAC converter proud of this creator also because it's really really useful and really smart program as well and bash fine okay now i'm using my bash fine this mail me that i just modified it recently and okay the another thing i'm gonna let it still mail me dot eac whatever it is not necessary to edit and what is included with this batch file yes the main important program it must be included and this program is running invisibly this three option and yes 64 bit because latest Yes, because this program, I have been using this, by the way, I have been using this, pro, I mean, this program since 2013. 
uh, is almost over three years since last three years ago I will use it but until today it's still working so since you forget I can choose the version and whatever okay Microsoft what whatever an um, icon for temporarily and and choosing a font as you will okay icon here but if for temporarily it's not important and I, I don't really care and it's an English English version this is editor you can see the test or come recently comment here and I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna press on it now I just put everything together here and it's ready ready to be compiled now let's compile it's compiling here and okay now I just finished compiling mailme.ac This mailmeter is, is literally surely the malicious program, of course, and man, mostly my antivirus even didn't detect this one. Now it is ready. The malicious program is ready. And I'm not sending this malicious program to my fitting directly, of course. I'm I'm now gonna bind this program with a regular program using EV binder, of course. This EV binder program is really great. I like it. But many antivirus programs detect this program. So when you use this program, just be careful. Okay, I'm gonna bind this mailme.exe with with status kind and with um, a, a regular file our services. Okay, of course mm -hmm. it is 14.5 KB and the capital KB and, and, and it's really easy to send the within and as a as an advertisement so here Doug and I'm now set up an icon this is the final icon so we need to choose really carefully so so that the video won't dump to us so I just told I just mentioned it as a, a document so I need to choose these doc document icons so that the fitting will drop me. This is and set up output file. Okay, where well, I'm gonna put this finding malicious file our services. And that's the same folder, size sky. Same folder with the malicious pro program in our services. Nine. Okay, this is for just for what? see. This is just for tabs. You can you can input whatever you want here. It's optional. Now all things are set up and it's ready to be bound. Oh, 100.2 percent. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna edit this and start sky and I'm seeing this fine and I send I'm sending this to my within my zipping zipping it at archive or something like that. Okay, whatever. Uh, this is EAC fine. So I'm gonna put some. Same old trick, but it's 
no. The same old trick. Yeah, the DOC file. Back EAC file here. Okay, now I'm sending this by saving this or something like that or okay, whatever. It's it's gonna send to my fitting. It's gonna be sent to my fitting. And my video just download this document. Oh, now I'm, I'm, let's suppose myself as a victim here, and I'm really curious and really wondering what are their service and I just. Okay, this office. Oh, the service is here. Office solution, system service, document management solution. A wireless service, security solution. Oh, they're nice. I'm gonna hire them, their service, one of their services, whatever. Okay. Now, let's see. You see that Microsoft Word set up saved. That's what I just put in the easy binder program. Okay. As myself back into a uh, an attacker, I'm going to check my email, what's happening in my email. Really exciting to see this. Oh, as everyone know, my country's internet is really slow like a turtle. Oh, please don't do that to me. It show me stay walking, but not really. I think it's, it take much time. How oh. stay walking? Do loading and um, see here. It's cycling. It's cycling. It's cycling. Keep cycling. Come on! Don't do this to me. I, I, I can pause here to reduce the video time here, but I, I don't, I don't, because, because my internet is really, really slowing down. I just need to get along that my mobile data is running out. That's why my internet is cycling here. <laughs> impressive, huh? It's really impressive. Right? I'm going to wrap. Actually, I just ran on my bill. And I'm sorry for your inconvenience. I just, I could, I could pause and cut this video to reduce the video time, but I didn't because I just want you to see this without cutting this. Why so serious? It just sent email to the attacker once the victim. Okay, I'm now doing this twice. See, America. Okay, it's twice. Uh, what is happening here? Let's see. Oh, twice. Why so serious? Voila. Okay, so this is why you don't 
you shouldn't save your password in your browser as it can send you a fine and you can steal remotely your saved password. I just would like to say this and for this time, oh, okay. Why so serious you may hear sent you and what is attached with the mail? Let's see. K3 TV login data, login or JSONs. Yeah, this K3 and login or JSON put together into your Firefox by replacing your existing K3 and login, and you will see the fit in password clearly in the plain test. Of course, a login data. Login data is from most, uh, Google Chrome, Google Chrome, and you can put this one to your Google Chrome database and you will see the safe password clearly in the plain test. Now you see this three thing. You will just click twice and it sends you twice. If you the chess program for three times three times it's gonna send you three times okay yeah so let me tell you again again that that's why you shouldn't save your password in browsers an attacker can remotely steal your password from your browser simply by using a bash program it's just a me method that i have been using for three years is still working so beware. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you all again. Bye bye for now.